Hey, so Discord bot dashboards has been one of the most requested videos on this channel. So to understand where you all are coming from, I ran a poll in my server asking how much experience you all had with web development before getting into bot development. The overwhelming majority had no prior web development experience, which is kind of an awkward position to be in if you're planning to build a dashboard for your bot. But don't worry because this video is my guide for you where I'll be going over the technologies that you should consider learning if you want to create a dashboard for your bot. Before we look at any of the technologies though, I first want to give an overview on what front-end development, back-end development, and full-stack development means. These topics are very important to understand if you're planning to build any sort of web application. So let's start with front-end development. In simple terms, Front-end development is the process of building client-side applications. What the hell does that even mean? It involves building user interfaces like a bot dashboard, which users can interact with. Take as an example, the Mi 6 dashboard. Users can navigate around the dashboard, toggle buttons, customize rank cards, and so on. This is all built using front-end technologies. I'll be giving examples of different technologies that you can use for this later on in the video. But for now, you should just know that front-end development is what's used for building those fancy bot dashboards that you always use. Let's now take a look at back-end development. This involves building applications on the server side. If you've used Discord.js before, which I'm guessing most of you have, it means that your bot was running on the back-end, most likely using Node.js. Node.js is one of the many server-side tools that you can use to run a back-end application. In the case of a Discord bot, a backend application is responsible for communicating with Discord using the Discord API. The way it works is our Node.js server sends requests to Discord, which explains the behavior of our bot. You'd usually use a library like Discord.js to send and receive information from the Discord API. Now, another job that a backend server has to handle is receiving requests from the front end. You see, when you do something like submit a form, or click a button on the front-end UI, you're usually sending a request to a back-end server to handle that specific action. Finally, let's take a look at full-stack development. This is really simple because it's basically just using both the front-end and the back-end to create your web applications. So now that you have a basic understanding of how the front-end and the back-end works, let's now take a look at the technologies that you could use to build such an application. Now, you're not only limited to the technologies that I mentioned, the JavaScript ecosystem is huge and there's a ton of choices. I'm just recommending the following since they're one of the most used and you'll find a lot of community support behind these technologies. So let's start with our front end. Here you have framework choices such as React, Angular, Vue, and Svelte. Now from this, if you're a beginner, I only really recommend React or Svelte. You'll probably have a much easier time with Svelte because the syntax is much cleaner compared to React. However, the community behind Svelte isn't really as big when compared to React, and for that reason, I personally like to use React for my front-end projects. However, I've been using Svelte as of recently, and I've been pretty impressed so far, so maybe I'll change my mind later down the line. Now let's take a look at some back-end technologies. Let's start with Discord libraries, since we're building a Discord bot. If you've been following the channel, you know that I personally like to use Discord.js. However, that's not the only way you can make a bot. There's also a library called Eris, which according to this Redditor is not as beginner friendly, but it's designed for heavy usage. I personally use Discord.js and I highly recommend it to anybody getting into Discord bot development because of how easy it is to use. Let's now take a look at a backend framework. A backend framework is basically an API which your frontend sends requests to. Remember when I said how clicking buttons on a UI sends requests back to the backend? Well, this is what is used to handle those requests. For this, I personally like to use Express.js because I've been using it for a long time and it didn't really take much to get used to. With that being said, some popular alternatives to this also includes Nest.js and Fastify. Now finally, let's decide on what database we should use. In my channel, I've only covered MongoDB so far, so that's what I'm going to be recommending. However, there's many other database options that you can choose from like MySQL, Postgres, and even Redis. So far, this is the tech stack that I've picked for my own dashboard. If you don't include Discord.js, this is a really popular tech stack called the Mern stack. And I promise there's no lack of project-based tutorials on this stack on YouTube. Watching one or two of these project-based tutorials will give you enough understanding 
on how to build a dashboard for yourself. And this brings me on to, should you even build a dashboard for your bot, considering everything you have to learn? Well, it really depends on how much time you're willing to spend learning. If you have the time to learn both the front-end and the back-end technologies that I've mentioned, then I highly recommend you build a dashboard for your bot, because it's a very rewarding process, and you'll definitely learn a lot from it. 